You know, we have this image in the culture, right, of the, the tortured genius, the mad genius, right? Is that a romantic? No, is there anything to that? Is it simply a cliche? I, I mean, you have thought a lot about it. Well, that. yeah, I mean, there, it's just like the nature-nurture issue. We have people who state extremes, and you can always find data showing one thing or another. Let me give you an example. This is, I did, this is not my data. This is a, a colleague of mine collected data on eminent uh, people. Uh, these are primarily late 19th and early 20th century people, all of whom have biographies written about them. So you can collect information about their mental disorders. And you notice that the, the poets, 87% <laughs> of them, you know, 77% for fiction. Social sciences, which includes me, uh, me. but not you. <laughs> okay, you're a natural scientist. Very high, 51%. Okay, I'm in the 49th. And, um, and then the natural scientist, 28. And if you look at it overall, there's sort of a pattern to it that if you're in a field where creativity requires going against the grain, going against convention, using a lot of intuition, taking chances, using a lot of imagination, then you're more at risk at having a mental illness. <laughs> and, and in support of that, it's kind of interesting, even though the natural sciences are very low, the revolution... <laughs> The, revolutionary <laughs> the revolutionaries are um, very high, revolutionary scientists. So let me, let me just ask, I mean, with that data up on the screen, you know, and I should say, Philip and Julie, this is, this is a very safe audience, right? <laughs> but but I'm, I'm just wondering, you know, feel free, are, are you kind of depressed or is it mental? You know, I mean, are, you seem pretty happy to me. But I'm, I'm a licensed psychologist. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, does your work come from a place uh, of no, darkness? It's, it's wonderful that he could make this display for us, but I don't buy it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 but, but it it's, it's not that it's something basically wrong with it. It's just that someone else may be able to come up with a different way of viewing it. Mm -hmm. So we might have to... It, Maybe you could yourself. No, actually, it. it's interesting. When I presented this um, at a meeting uh, in positive psychology, uh, and the founder of positive psychology, um, Mark Seligman, looked at it, and he says, the problem with this is you have it upside down. <laughs> yeah. Right? Well, what you should look at is all the people who are mentally healthy. Well, uh, see, I would suggest that the, what we call creative people are actually mentally more well-balanced yeah. than people who don't have that that outlet, so to speak, or that ability. So, so it does look backwards. It's totally subjective. I mean, that's the problem, is I mean, what is uh, healthy, look, th and, theater, and theater is what is well-balanced, and... Well, these are people who had either get medication or oh. seek therapy. Okay. So a pretty but extreme version. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, you said medication or seek therapy? And or. Uh, this is New York, be, man. But that, <laughs> <laughs> we all are in therapy. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.